You feel like you're standing in fire. You feel like you are on fire. Like my veins felt like they were full of fuel that had been ignited. I feel like someone's crushing all the bones in my leg and my entire body is just on fire. Justin had a drum set that we had sold on eBay and it was packaged up on the floor. And so I lifted it up to about waist height and he hadn't taped the bottom yet and I didn't realize and it fell out and dropped on the top of my foot. I remember I'd gone hiking in Portland and I'd taken my dog Lumen and I remember getting home that night and my foot just felt different. About a couple of months after I dropped the drum, it turned black, it swelled up. I thought I had gangrene. I was like, what is wrong with my foot? Like I'd never seen it so swollen. It was huge and I couldn't touch it to the ground. It was just so excruciating. The MRIs, CT scan, ultrasound, blood work, and every time it would come back like normal, 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 normal. And I'm just like, oh my God, like this isn't normal. It doesn't look normal. It doesn't feel normal. It had spread to my entire body. It was in um, my face, my eyes. Um, it had started to spread internally. It was in my digestive system. A couple of days after that, that's when it hit like what they call like level 10 pain. I was being covered in acid, I was being dipped in hot oil, and I was out of my mind with pain. All I could think about was dying. I couldn't move my face. I couldn't lift my arms past here. I could barely get my hand to my face to like brush my teeth or comb my hair or, or bathe. I mean, just do any simple task for myself. And one nurse came over and gave me like a Tylenol and I was like, are you crazy? Like you think Tylenol is gonna touch this pain? Every year, hundreds of thousands of people are being diagnosed with CRPS, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. And the vast majority of them are going to go months and months not getting the correct diagnosis. And then when they do, they're going to be told that their future is very grim. I was still so suicidal, like I just wanted to die. And I remember, I think it was, she, she sat me down and she's like, a lot of people with CRPS walk into this clinic suicidal. You know, like this is their last stop. This is the last thing they're trying before they're giving up. And I was just like, okay, like, maybe, you know, maybe I'm not crazy. The first time she did it, my pain dropped. My pain dropped, I think, the very first time to like a one or a two. And I don't know how to, I just bawled. I just, I had so much emotion. I just like burst out of me. It was, it was so much relief. It was just, I didn't realize it, that was possible. The public think that we pop necks and backs. And what we're really doing is getting the central nervous system to communicate with every single cell in your body again. It, it's this whole secret world that opens to you where people think, okay, the, you know, this cannot happen and the body cannot do these things. And then you realize that's not true. The body can do amazing things. I remember walking out of the clinic and that was probably the first time I thought there's hope. It's like, okay, maybe I don't have to live with full body CRPS. Like maybe, maybe this can be, something can be changed. It's so exciting. I'm gonna be a new person. Sarah today is finishing her last day of treatment and here is somebody that wants to have another baby and she came to me and her husband had to brush her teeth at some point. She was bedridden and today I get to, um, sorry, I get to watch her, I get to watch her leave but that's amazing.